Um, excited to be here today and be close to getting to, to start practice for the fall. We, uh, we've made good steps in our program and going from FCS to FBS in a short amount of time. And uh, one of the ways I think that'll show up a little bit for us this year is in depth. Um, as we made the move up, we might have a uh, FBS caliber player maybe being the starter, but our backup that had to play sometimes maybe wasn't quite at that level. So uh, with more years recruiting time and uh, everything, I think we've, we've got a chance now to have a little bit better depth situation to play more guys and to be able to, to back people up a little bit better. Obviously, our, uh, we, we've been bowl eligible a couple of years and haven't gotten in, and so uh, we've got to find a way to do whatever it takes or do what's required for us to have the opportunity to go to postseason for Texas State's first bowl game. Um, our players were certainly disappointed when they didn't get chosen last year after uh, the way things fell, but uh, they've kind of taken it upon their shoulders to say we got to do a little bit more and um, probably got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder about this, and, and they should have. Um, you know, I, I do, so I, I would think they would. And um, so we, we want to find a way to, to get that done. And uh, we, um, you know, we need to find a way to take the next step to get into the, the upper echelon of this conference. Um, you know, the Lafayette's, the Arkansas State's, the Georgia Southern's, uh, you know, the teams that are at the top, that's what we're trying to do now. We're getting a little bit closer. We played Georgia Southern very close last year. We uh, didn't have a very good game against Lafayette, but we beat Arkansas State. So. We're making some progress in that direction. We just need to get a little farther along in that process and solidify it a little bit better. Uh, but we feel like our direction and where we're going is pretty good. We, um, you know, we played a, a Big Ten team last year and had them down in the fourth quarter and had chances to win, just didn't quite get it done. And um, certainly that, that was uh, a game that we felt like we let slip away just a little bit uh, when you look back on it. Our coaching staff has stayed intact pretty much, except for Ashley Ambrose coming in, which has been a real positive uh, addition. Ashley's from Louisiana, so I'm sure some uh, uh, he's got a lot of relatives back this way. But he's, he's made a good uh, impact for us. We're excited about him, and that's good to have the continuity in a coaching staff for recruiting purposes. And, and right now our recruiting is, is going really well. So um, that, that – continuity of a staff I think has been huge in that regard to make that happen. Um, schedule wise um, I would say this schedule is a little tougher than last year's schedule. Uh, we've got three of the leaders in the conference on the road. We've got Florida State instead of Illinois. I've been watching those the last few days. I haven't thrown up yet but I've been close a couple times. They're fast. Uh, no doubt about that. They get out of position and then they go whoop and they're right there to tackle the guy there. They've got great speed and great athletes. So that'll be a good challenge for our guys, but they're excited about it. And they're, they're, uh, they could probably tell you the starting lineups right now, though. It, that has changed a little bit here lately. For, I don't know with a couple circumstances, but they know a lot's going on. We should have a solid offensive football team. Tyler Jones is back for his third year as a starter, and he's just a junior. We've got good running backs. Rob Lowe's here uh, today with us. And... Um, we're solid at that position. Uh, we really look at the offensive line as almost having four starters back because uh, Ryan Milton and Adrian Ballard are back at tackle, and uh, we played four guys at guard that are on the team, so they've all played a good bit. Center's the one that we've got to solidify right now. Ryan Carden and, and Lawrence White are back that played a lot last year at tight end, and I really look for Lawrence White to have a breakout year for us a little bit. We'll, we will miss Brad Miller. Uh, that, that was somebody that made a lot of good plays for us last year. Uh, but those uh, Ryan and, and Lawrence will do a good job. Our receivers are pretty much all back. Uh, C.J. Best and Jafis Gaines and, and Bryce Gunner and DeMond Mercer and those guys. And so I, we feel good about uh, where we're at there. We've got a lot of experience under the belt. We've got some rebuilding to do on defense. Um, you know, you lose David Mayo, uh, a fifth-round draft pick, and, and Craig Mager, a third-round draft pick. You lost two two really good football players, and uh, you mix Mike Odiari in there, and, uh, you know, that they, they all gave us great seasons. But I, I really feel like with Coach Thompson in his second year in 
uh, this defense with us now uh, and our players' understanding of it. And, John, our players love Coach Thompson. They really uh, uh, are close because of him and the way he's handled them. And I think the knowledge and depth of the defense will make a, a little bit of a, uh, a assist to us. And then as coaches, after we had gone through spring practice, I don't know if we have a David Mayo, but I think we've got pieces to the puzzle for some of the losses that we had that can make our defense as good or better than it was last year. Um, you know, I've used the example of Roosevelt Pearson who came in last year at 6'5", 260, and uh, tore his Achilles and didn't play at all last year, and now he's back to play. So, um, But he's, he's unproven. You guys haven't seen him play, and, and we've never seen him play in a college football game. We've seen him practice a little bit, and he's pretty good. So we've got, a, we've got guys like that. So I, I, I hold hope that uh, I think we can solidify our defense and be better. And then I think losing Will Johnson, who's with the Houston Texans now, who is our kicker, uh, Will's. Um, James Sherman went through spring practice with us, and we signed a junior college kicker in Lumi Kaba. And um, Lumi's got a great leg, so hopefully we're going to be able to, to stabilize that one and, and get our, uh, our defense um, where it needs to be and get our kicking game settled. And then I think offensively we've got a chance to be a good, solid team. So uh, all those things uh, together, um, I'll take some questions. Well, uh, you can't feel very good about what happened with the bowl thing last year, but as far as the preseason poll thing, I think um, we, we were probably picked about the right place uh, for the way, the way things laid out starting the season. Uh, I really hate preseason predictions and preseason all-conference teams, but, um, you know, it's not what, you, what matters right now. What matters is what do we do, and so... It is uh, better to be in the same league for three years. I, and, you know, I went through uh, three conferences in four years there at one point in time, so uh, it was like we changed every year, and that was not uh, a real uh, good feeling uh, working through things every year. So I think it's better for us now. We're in a good league. I think this, is a, I think this league is going to be better from top to bottom this year than ever before. I see... The, the schools at the bottom getting a lot better when they all have quarterbacks back. And um, so I, I think you better play every week in this league next year. I think I think if you think you're going to roll into some place and it's not going to be a, a tough game, you're, you're going to have a hard time. If your players don't go in with the right mentality, they're, they're going to they're gonna get beat because some of these teams are going to be a lot better. Coach, you talk about rebuilding on defense. You got a guy like David Mims to rebuild sort of the back end. How much does that help? Well, I, I tell you what, if you don't have corners in college football, you, sooner or later the, the scoreboard lights up and the band starts playing and it's not yours. So uh, that's not a good feeling. Um, you know, we've got to, the first thing we've got to do is get better against the run. And uh, knowing David's over there to take care of one side is good, but uh, we, want, we need to be a little better against the run. And then I think we, we can uh, solidify things better in our defense. And that was a big push in spring practice. And so guys like Rashad Dillon and DeAndre Elvoid and Will Trevelyan and Jeff Banks and Jared Jeter Gilman, and, uh, we're, kinda, we're, we're not starting over at linebacker, uh, but we're new, um, you know, with Teron Fitzgerald and uh, Jeff Mitty and, and uh, Stephen Smith and some of the guys. Some of them have played some. Stephen's played a lot of football. Uh, and really, our safeties uh, have all played a good bit of football. Uh, the other corner position right now would be Brandon McDowell. Uh, but we've got two or three guys, Javante O'Roy and Andrew Aniki and Clarence Guidry, that are pushing those guys. So we've got good competition there. You know, on defense today, you really need about 16 or 17 starters to, to be able to meet the diversity of, a, of college offenses. It's a lot different than the NFL. You know, you go from uh, – almost a wishbone team one week to a, a four or five wide out team the next week. And so, you know, you got to have the ability to get bigger at line and put linebackers on the field sometimes. And then you got to have the ability to put more DBs on the field at times. So um, it, it, that's something that our depth, I think, is giving us a chance to get closer to being able to do. 
you've been coaching a long time. Do you, when you have a player whose father has played on a high level, played at the next level, um, do you do you look for a little bit more from that kind of guy? I think so. I think you you know the family heritage and uh, uh, the gene pool, <laughs> and, and you know I, I think you uh, have some expectations. The biggest thing I think they have expectations. You know they they've been around it. They know what it's uh, about and what it's like, and so then it's natural for us as coaches to probably think that way a little bit uh, too.